Hello everybody, Evan Abbey here for AEA K-12 Online. We're looking at how to go and take content from a learning object repository and then place that into our class as you might do in a flipped classroom. I've got on my screen here a copy of my course. You can see it's empty right now. I'll show you the basics of how to get to that course. In my other tab, I've got a place open where I'm going to grab the content from. It just happens to be YouTube. And I'll show you a couple of different ways to do it. Now, in this scenario, I'm um, going outside of the school. And in my life, I, uh, my family and I are involved in a martial arts school. And one of the things we do is we work with weapons in there, and we work on performing weapons. Um, one of the things that is trouble, uh, is difficult about that is that you don't have a whole lot of time in the class to practice your weapons. Um, because of the limited space and such. It's limited to a small amount of time after school. So one of the things that we could do is we could create a blended learning space where um, we can give some instructional videos for students to go. Uh, they can practice uh, and see the techniques and practice them on their own and then when they're in class during the limited time that they have they can go back over the ones that they had trouble with. Now, in order to do that, the first thing I needed to do was I was thinking about my outcomes, you know, that I want them to learn specific skills when it came uh, to working with the weapon known as the bow staff. The second thing is I needed to find the resources. I've already done that. I've gone online and I found a great series of resources from Expert Village in their YouTube channel, so we're going to actually take from there. Now that I've found those, I need to go and put those in here, and there's lots of different ways to do that. The easiest way is to go and simply put in a link to that resource. This works regardless of which resource it is, if it's a video, if it is um, uh, PowerPoint, if it is something that's like a text-based lesson, or even if it's just a web page that you want to use as a lesson, you can do that with this. So to do that, the first thing I'm going to do in my Moodle class is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click the Turn Editing On button. When I do that, again, with, if you're familiar with Moodle, you've seen this before, it'll change your screen. And I'll add all these different editing buttons. So now when, I'm, when I've uh, turned my editing on, now I'm ready to go and add in the resource. Let's add that to this topic one here. So I'm going to click here. And for this one, I want to add in a URL. So click here. And click Add. Again, if you're new to Moodle, this actually is very simple to do. It asks you to name what you're going to call this. And so my first, uh, uh, my first is a warm-up activity. Then for description, it does require you to put in a description, even though that won't show up necessarily in the course. So uh, just to make things simple, I'm going to go ahead and put in the same thing as my name. And then if I scroll down here, it's asking me for that URL. So I can go here. There's that video that I've got. This individual is demonstrating the techniques that I want to use. So I can just go up to my URL, copy it, and that was going down to edit, copy. And going back over to my class, and then going and pasting it in. Once I've done that, once you do have some options down here, you can choose whether you want that to be uh, in a new window, pop-up, or if it opens up a new tab. If you do pick a new tab, for example, you can adjust the size of it as well. I'm just going to keep it automatic for right now. If I go down here, and click Save, and turn to the course. And now I have a link, so if I click there, it's going to pull up that lesson again before. Introductory uh, advertisement for every uh, every video we see. Right. I'll show you a different way to do this, though. Okay. I'm going to take and pick 
um, from that same video, instead of embedding it in, or linking it, I'm going to embed it in. And embed will actually let the video show up right where it is. So I'm going to go again to my course. And this time, instead of adding an activity or resource, I'm going to click over here. We see this pencil. Now it lets me edit the summary. Now the summary is a place where you can put sort of like a topic header for this unit. And if you haven't used Moodle before, this allows you to go and to create whatever will appear there. You can type, you can introduce your video, you can say For example, both staff warm up activity. And then below that, you're ready to go and embed it in. Now, to embed items in, first off, I'll show you where to find those. On video, usually the embed code will be somewhere around the video with a link that says share. YouTube hides it a little bit. I'm going to go down here. There'll be a link that says share. Underneath that will be another link that says embed, and it gives you this HTML code. Now, luckily, you don't have to know too much about HTML. You just have to be able to copy this. So that again is edit, copy. I'm going to switch back over here. Now, in Moodle, to add this in so that it works, I don't want to just simply paste it in right now. I've got to paste it in, in the HTML editor. And that's right here within Moodle. So click here, and it brings it up. Again, I don't have to know too much about HTML. just have to get my cursor in the right spot. Now I'm going to go edit and paste it in. I'm going to click the update button. Now that puts the video and embeds it within there. Click Save Changes. Now the video will be there. I had to refresh my screen because it brought back up the old screen before. Alright, that works out really well. Now one thing you can do on YouTube is you can go and you can actually create a playlist of many videos. That's not going to be, I'm not going to overview that here in this um, um, uh, tutorial, but uh, you can feel free to Google that. In this particular one, this individual has 31 videos on both staff techniques that I've put together into a playlist and I can have directions for my students to go and click here to look at all 31 of them. Now let's say you didn't do that or let's say you're taking videos from a lot of different locations not just YouTube. You might not want to fill up your entire course with video after video after video. You might want to save some space. Well within Moodle there's another way to do that and it's similar to what we just did but it kind of hides it and that is I'm going to add in a page so I'm going to click over here. Now this time, instead of clicking on URL, which we did before, I'm going to click here to add a page. Just like our URL, I have to URL. Sorry, I have to title it, and then here is where. I'm going to go ahead and just like in our um, URL, we have to go and copy and put in a description, even though it won't appear. Then down here for page content, I can go and I can type in anything I want. And this, it, this stuff will appear. I'm going to go ahead and put in this as a header. And then just like before, I'm going to go grab that HTML code, copy it. I use my shortcut to copy it there. And I'm going to click here, the little HTML button. And I'm going to paste it in. Once I've updated it, and it appears there. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to save and go back to the course. So now this time, you see here it's actually put it in, but it's only got a link for it. I click on that link, and I can bring up the page. This allows me to just concentrate my video in one spot and not get lost in one clip. So you could put, if you wanted to have a different lesson that you found each day, instead of saying Bo Staff Warm-Up as the title of your page, 
you could put the date that a person would do, or you might even say something like lesson one. All of those things can be structured within your Moodle course. Okay. So that's a review of the different ways in which you can take a, a, an item such as that and embed it in. Again, if it is a different video, you can always link to it. Um, if it is content like a PowerPoint that is sitting on your computer, uh, you can upload that as a file, which we didn't look at, but it's that same process of going over here and then going down. And then this time, and this time, instead of taking a URL or a page, we click here to add a file and then upload that file. All different types. Overall, it's very easy to take content and put it into Moodle and structure it. What we'll look at later on in this lesson is how to go and actually scaffold it. Because as is, this really doesn't say a heck of a whole lot for a person who's brand new to the bubble staff. They watch it, and what are they supposed to do? What processing are they supposed to be doing? What are they looking for while they watch this video? All are good questions. And the process of scaffolding is an important part of making a good blended learning curriculum. All right. Thank you very much.